Buongiorno everyone! Welcome to my channel. I am Luciana Moreno. Today's tutorial is gonna be how I edit my photos on Lightroom. For those who don't know me, I like my photographs to be like milkish, low contrast, low saturation, film kind of vibe. So if you like that, fucking watch this shit, alright? So if you like that type of photograph, this video is for you. Before jumping into Lightroom, I just want to mention that it's very important if your camera can take raw photos, take raw photos. It will give you such a bigger range of addition in light, shadows, colors. It's just shooting raw. <laughs> so the first thing that I want to do is click on this button and we will crop and straighten our photo. We're going to try to align the lines of the horizon with the lines of the squares. The next thing that we're gonna do is gonna scroll down all the way to lens correction and we're gonna click on these two boxes and Lightroom will fix your photo for you. We're gonna go to tone curve and in this button over here, we're gonna put three dots right here. And personally, I like to raise the blacks and raise a little bit the shadows. We don't wanna lose a lot of detail, but we want to make it a little bit more milkish and flat. We're gonna play around for a while in here to see what's the best option for a photograph. Pull down the highlights. Then we're gonna go to the blue circle. Same, three dots. You cannot get too crazy on the tone curve. Just a little bit is enough. Now to the green, same, three dots. Whoop. I like to have like a green color in the shadows. We don't want to move too much the highlights because the sky will start changing color and it will be very fake. Then we're gonna go to the red. Three dots again. Very subtle changes. So the photo has changed a lot and the way to see it is by clicking this little button over here. So now we're gonna go to this other circle all the way to the left. We can always come back and arrange it in a different way. Now we're gonna scroll down to HSL slash color. HSL stands for hue, saturation, and luminance. And I like to display it all together. We're gonna start with the hue. Red and orange, I try not to touch them that much. I will start making adjustments with the yellow and so on. The yellow in this photo is the grass. So right now, for me, I would like the grass to be a little bit more greenish. So I'll put it a little bit to the right. For the green, I don't want it to be yellow, I want it to be a little bit also more lively, so I'll put it a little bit to the right. Then the aqua and the blue, I'm gonna lower them. The purple and the magenta, we're gonna see what they do, and they don't really do much. They are usually like the forgotten colors, but I'll just lower them. In the saturation for the red, I want the red to be a little bit more saturated, because the red in this photo is the lips and a little bit of the skin color of Judean. If you can see it right there. I'm gonna move it to the right to put a little bit of more saturation in her lips. Then the orange is gonna be her skin tone. So I'm not gonna exaggerate it either, but I'm gonna raise it a little bit. Then the yellow, I'm gonna desaturate it as well as the greens, the aqua and the blues too. Then we're gonna go down to luminance and we're gonna play around with it. If you don't really see the difference in either of these settings, what I recommend you to do is just go to both extremes and see what is affecting the photo. So in red, I'm gonna lower it a little bit. The orange, because it's the skin tone, I'm gonna raise it. I want my subject to pop out a little bit more from the photo. The yellow, I'm gonna lower it as well as the green. The aqua and the blue, I'm gonna put them higher. If we want to see the difference, again, we click on this box and this is what we have done. Then we're gonna scroll down to the color grading and we have the mid-tone shadows and highlights. I'm gonna start with the shadows. Personally, I like my shadows to be greenish, yellowish. On top of the circle, you can find the hue, saturation, and luminance. The hue is the number 77, the saturation is the nine and the luminance is zero. 
and I'm going to change the luminance over here. Then I'm going to go to the highlights and my highlights, I like them to be blue. So I'm going to go here. Also, I'm going to move the luminance and I'm going to make it brighter to the right. I like the midtones to be warmer, so I'll just move it to an orangey yellowish. And I'm also going to raise the luminance. Then I'm going to go to this circle all the way to the right. It's the global. And I'm going to put the luminance higher too. We can see the difference. Then we're going to scroll down all the way to grain. And personally, I love the grain on my photos. So I'm going to put maybe 20, 25, the size 30 and the roughness 30. So now we're going to scroll all the way up and start making our final touches in the basic corrections. Many of you will ask why do I do my basic corrections at the end and it's because I like to save this as a preset and then when I paste the preset on another photo I can have the opportunity to change the highlights, shadows, whites and the basic corrections on each photo individually. So right now it's the perfect moment for you to make a preset. Let's see how the photo has changed without the basic corrections. So in basic corrections, I think I'm just going to pull a little bit lower the highlights and lower the whites and I'm going to bring down the shadows as well as the blacks. And in vibrance and saturation, I'm going to lower both of them. You can always go back to the things that you have edited and tweak it and arrange it the way that you feel that the photo will look better. It will always be like you have to try and if you don't like it, you just click common Z. It's not a big deal. So that was everything for today my friends, thank you so much for watching this video, if you liked it please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and all the beautiful things on YouTube. Thank you so much, bye, see you next time.